All right, so to start, if you have a mat, fantastic. Use a mat. If not, a towel would be just fine. We're gonna come down to your forearms. Um, right here, you want your forearms to be about with um, about a ruler's distance apart from each other. We're gonna take your knees back and stay right here. Hug the belly up into the spine. If you can do this, okay, then I want you to shrug your shoulder blades down your back and put them into a pocket behind your shoulder blades. Just both shoulder blades go into a pocket, like a little jean pocket. Long line between your ears and your shoulders. Tuck your chin in just slightly. Keep holding it there. If this is too easy for you, I want you to come forward a little bit and pull the belly in. And then we can gradually come all the way up and come into a low plank right here. So we're just gonna pull it in nice and tight. Pull those abs in nice and tight. I'm gonna put yourself on, um, on a little timer here. Shrug those shoulders down your back. Shrug those elbows into towards your rib cage. Pull the belly up and in. If this is too difficult with your feet together, try walking your feet out a little bit wider. Gives you a bigger base. All right, we are already, um, how many seconds in? We're already 30 seconds in. Pull the belly in. And you can also just tap your right knee and then tap your left. Tap your right, tap your left. Tap your right, tap your left, right, left. Hold it here. Challenge yourself by taking those toes together. Pull the belly in. Shrug the shoulders. Down your back and pull your chin back. Keep holding it here. So if you want to come down, now's a good time to come down. You've been here for over a minute. If you want to challenge yourself to do oblique work, we're going to pick up this left foot, cross it over the right, and then lean over. So your hips are facing one direction, but your shoulders are facing the other. Pull the belly up and in again, and then create a little tuck, squeezing, marrying these butt cheeks together, squeezing them together, and squeeze, and squeeze as you're pulling your abs in, your belly button's coming into your spine. Hold it here, now hips come up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your toes back to the floor, uncross those legs, recenter yourself, recheck your posture, pull the belly up and in, pick up this right foot, take it over the left, and then sink over to this side. Square your shoulders towards your mat, marry these butt cheeks together, and squeeze, and you're gonna tuck by pulling in the belly, pulling the belly button into your spine. Just keep going for five, four, three. Even pressure on your forearms. And now lift, 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 lift. For five, four, three, two, and one. Um, rotate back over towards the floor. And you are here, shrugging our shoulders down, pulling in the belly in. Maybe coming forward an inch and back an inch for the last eight, seven, or you can just hold it. Six, five, turn those palms under. Four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees to the floor. Push all the way back into an extended child's pose. Arms are forward. Tailbone comes back. Big inhale and exhale. So let's continue on this core work. You just held plank for over three minutes, so good job. So I'm gonna face this way. We're gonna start with these elbows onto the floor. Pick up your hips, curl the tailbone under, and then place the sacrum down onto the floor. Place your forearms onto the floor, and then check where your knees are. I want you to adjust your knees to where they're about shoulder height. From here, pull that belly button in to your spine. Your elbow tucks under. You can hold it here just by pulling the belly in 
and holding it. If you want to challenge yourself, reach the left arm around, reach the right arm around. Big inhale and exhale. Create a rounding in your spine. And look forward. Now these elbows, last thing to pop, they're going to come out wide. Still creating this long line from your ears to your shoulders. You're just in a C curve. We're going to take this up an inch, then down. Up, then down. It's up, then down. I need four more. It's four. It's three. It's two. It's one. Hold it here. If you try to challenge yourself, we're going to go on to level two. Take your palms open to the ceiling. Looking at the ceiling, take it down an inch, down an inch. Really purposeful, defined movement. And I need four, three, two, and one. Cross your right arm over your shoulder, left arm over your shoulder, round up. And then we're going to round the spine, articulate the spine one vertebra at a time, and then pop back up. See if you can keep your feet on the floor as you do this. Down, don't let your head touch, and then come back up. Good, down, 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 and then come back up. If this is too difficult, take your arms over your head, and you can use them for as momentum to get yourself up. Or you can keep them right here and really challenging yourself. I need three more. It's three. It's two. It's one. We're going to hold it down this time. And bring your knees up here. Still, we're not touching your head down to the floor the entire time. We're going to pull your left knee in, and then your right knee in, and then left, and then right, and then left, and right. And now singles just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to kick this right leg up. You can bend, you can keep this left leg straight on the floor, you can bend the knee, or you can let it hover right here. Crawl yourself up, 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 um, and pulse right here. You're holding on to your calf. You're creating a squeeze, like you're taking a bite out of your belly with your rib cage and your hip bone. And we're gonna hold it up right here. Right hand, left hand comes behind the head, and see if you can pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now right here, we're gonna take this left leg up one, up two, up three, tap this heel, do a little reverse crunch, and then take it down and down and down. One, two, three, reverse crunch forward, five, six, seven, Eight. It's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more slow. Reverse crunch. Now we're going to bring that up to what we a tempo. So just take it up on one swing and crunch back down. And six more. It's six. It's five. Your shoulder blades are high off this mat. Four. It's three, it's two, it's one. And hold it up right here, a little reverse. Reverse crunch, a reverse crunch. Four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna bring this right knee in, elbow taps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back center. Bring both knees in. We're now to the other side. Left leg up, right leg down. Big breath in. Crawl up this left leg and pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Right here, hands behind the head. Pulse at eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take this up one, up two, 
up three, a reverse crunch, back down for two, two, three. So it's up, two, three, reverse crunch on four, back down on five, lower six, seven, eight. It's up, two, three, crunch back. And now up to tempo, sweep it up, eight. Sweep it up, seven. Sweep it up, six. I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm letting my cervical spine just relax here into the fingertips. The chin is up away from my chest. This is two. This is one right here. Little crunch is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring this down. We're going to bring this knee in and we're going to tap. It's tap. It's tap. You can always have this right knee bent and tap for four, for three, for two, for one. Last thing, bring the soles of the feet together. Knees are going to come in. Knees are out wide like a diamond as we tap the elbows and then bring them back down. Tap the elbows, bring them back down. Tap the elbows, back down. It's five. Tap, four. Tap, three. Tap, two. And one. Little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your head down to the floor. Big squeeze. Bringing your knees into your body, maybe rotating your back left and right. We're going to bring your knees, bend them 90 degrees. These knees are going to be square right over your hips. Hands are going to come down here, squeeze the shoulder blades, pop them right back in the pockets where they belong. So the biggest goal here, the biggest challenge is to keep these knees over your hips and not bring them into your chest. They want to come home, but you've got to be Firm love with them, tough love. Keep them right over here. Now take your left hand against your left knee, your right hand against your right knee. A big breath in, and then exhale, watch me press my spine into the floor. Now pull that belly button to follow. Press your left hand into the left knee, right hand into the right knee. Hold it here, lower those shoulders. Shoulder blades are in your pockets. Big breath in, exhale, hold it for four, three, two, one. Lift this right arm as you extend the left leg. So opposite arm and leg. Good, extend, extend, extend. Keep breathing, extend, and the two more. It's two, and it's one. Bring it back in here. Big inhale, press both feet, um, knees against your hands, hands against your knees, pressing that spine into the floor. Left hands to come over your head as your right leg extends for eight, seven. Notice my left knee has not crept in. It's staying right over your hip. And you're pressing this whole spine into the floor for four. And it's three. And it's two. And it's one, bring it back, press both hands against the knees, pull the belly in, right here. We're gonna take your left knee, tap, your right knee, tap, your left knee, tap, your right, tap. Last eight, last seven, last six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hands come down to the side. We put these knees together and let the knees fall over to your elbow. Big inhale and exhale. Sink your shoulder to your floor and place this extra left hand on top of this right knee for a little extra spine stretch. Can you keep your shoulders away from your ears and look over at your right fingertips? And then 
both hands out wide. Pull the belly in to get these knees back up, 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 and over to the right elbow. Big inhale, exhale, place that left shoulder onto the mat, onto the floor. Right hand on top of this left knee as you press down. You're looking over at your fingertips. And just enjoy that extra space you're creating in your spine while you stretch out these abdominals. All right, this will end get right about 20 minutes. Thank you for joining me all finished with core work. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Take care.